Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today, we're in Dayton, Ohio again at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. When we were here doing the other vlog, I found something that I wanted to share with you. It's how Hollywood and Walt Disney made a contribution to the war effort during World War II. Let's go take a look. Our story starts here. Though it's a relatively small exhibit, it's nice to see the museum paying tribute to the celebrities who fought during World War II. This is the flight jacket of Jackie Coogan, and some of you may know him best as Uncle Fester from the TV series, The Addams Family. Jackie enlisted in the Army on March 4th, 1941, and after the U.S. entered World War II after the Pearl Harbor attack, he requested a transfer to the Army Air Force as a glider pilot because of his civilian flight experience. It shows here, in addition to being a glider pilot, he was also responsible for the precious nylon tow ropes, which connected gliders to tow planes. And here's a picture of Jackie in India with his glider pilot wings. Although he was beyond the draft age at the time the U.S. entered World War II, Clark Gable enlisted as a private in the Army Air Force in 1942. When he resigned his commission in 1947, he was a major. And this is an oil painting of him as a captain as of 1944. This was donated by Mrs. Clark Gable. Here's his certificate of enlistment as a private in the U.S. Army. And next to that's the oath of office signed by him when he received his commission of second lieutenant. Here's the flight jacket of Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy was drafted in 1941 as an enlisted man and took extension courses in order to gain a commission. Because Jimmy logged over 400 flying hours as a civilian, he was permitted to take basic flight training, and he eventually earned his pilot's wings. Jimmy began flying combat missions in 1944 and was appointed operations officer of the 453rd Bomb Group and subsequently chief of staff of the 2nd Combat Wing, 2nd Air Division of the 8th Air Force. He ended the war with 20 combat missions and remained in the Air Force Reserve and was promoted to Brigadier General in 1959. And then he retired in 1968. And here's a photo of him as Brigadier General. Last but not least is Ronald Reagan. This is the overcoat he wore when he was Captain Reagan as a member of the Army Air Force during World War II. And of course, years later, became Commander in Chief. And this is his ID card. And here's the beginning of the Disney Goes to War exhibit here at the museum. Walt Disney Productions created approximately 1,200 designs during World War II for both American and Allied forces. And these designs were free of charge as a donation to the war effort, and were also created for other organizations such as civil defense and war industries. During World War I, at the age of 16, Walt Disney was a Red Cross ambulance driver, and throughout his service in France, he would embellish his ambulance and other units with drawings and cartoons in order to lift morale. And this is a photo of Walt Disney reviewing designs with his staff artists. Some of you may remember Roy Williams from the Mickey Mouse Club program. And here he is posing with the flying tiger insignia he helped create. This case holds a collection of patches that were designed by Disney artists. I'm not sure if I can show you without a bunch of glare, but I'm going to try to show you some of the designs. I may have to talk over some of this because of the copywritten music, but you can get a chance to see some of the artwork that the Disney Studios created for the war effort. See if I can get a better shot of that. And of course, here's Donald holding a bomb. And 
and a bear. Here's one for the 334th Fighter Squadron. Try to make a shadow so you can get a better look at the 701st Bombardment Squadron. And of course you see Dumbo. And another Dumbo. Here's a collection of flight jackets that have Disney artwork on it. I'm not sure if you can see the design or not, it's a little faded, but here's another illustration with Goofy on the back. This is a flight nurse's jacket, and if you look closely, you can see she's wearing a patch that was designed by Disney artists. I knew Hollywood made contributions to the war effort by making films to help boost morale, but I had no idea so many actors signed up and took part in the war. And I was really shocked to see Disney helped design some of the insignias for the military. In the comments section below, tell me who's your favorite Disney character. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified when I have new videos. Until next time, this is Cashew, signing off.